It's a sure sign something has changed in Japan. Bling is back. Shoppers even shelling out for trinkets costing $10,000 or more. They're up 150% this year. Before we had a few customers buying expensive things, but now higher price goods are selling. Why is this a big deal? Listen to top Japan expert Jesper Cole just 14 months ago explaining why he was the last optimist in Japan. If you're bullish on Japan, it's kind of like somebody coming up to you and whispering into your ear, you know, Elvis Presley, he's still alive. What's changed all that? <laughs> Japan's own political rock star, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, and his bold plan to jumpstart the economy. It's called Abenomics, and here's your primer. Abe calls it the three arrows approach. One, print money. Easing monetary policy has jolted consumer spending and weakened the yen, boosting exports. The second arrow, spend money. Fiscal stimulus, big, bold government projects despite already high government debt. And that's why it's bold. So far, the two arrows have proven an effective weapon on a sluggish stock market. It's up about a third. They've also addressed the country's debilitating deflation. Now prices are up modestly. A dose of inflation is what this economy needs. And the real winner, growth. The economy grew about 4% in the first half of 2013. It slowed a bit, but has had a lingering effect on confidence here in crucial sectors like construction and real estate. People are thinking of spending more money on houses, he tells us. Before, they would hesitate because it costs too much. So I think people are feeling positive. While that might be half the battle here, boosting Japanese confidence, the so-called third arrow, economic reform, is still a war to be waged in Japan. We're not talking about a you know, small technology innovation. We're talking about a big economic reforms. And in Japan, those are fighting words. Reforming the way business is done and increasing wages is already running into snags, leaving many Japanese cautious. We only hear lots of slogans, but in reality, our salary and bonus hasn't gone up. As one Japanese consumer put it, Abenomics has been like water on scorched earth. It may take some time to sink in. Paul Newton, CNN, Tokyo.